Okay, so at first glance, when I looked at this problem after going over those Bayes theorem videos, I uh, realized that it was, in, in fact, the same problem, so I apologize, Dr. Ford, for this, because I didn't realize it until I got about halfway through it today, but this is actually that same problem you did. Um, I went ahead and kind of did it, set it up the same way you had it at first, um, have 90% of the blondes are natural, um, and your, your own personal survey, you had 80% accuracy, um, so then... I used uh, the same variable variables for natural a uh, natural blonde and dyed blonde, and then a correct and incorrect guess. I changed that up just a little bit. Um, so we have the probability that the that you're guessing correct, given that the person is naturally blonde, is eighty percent of the time, and then if you're incorrect, given they're naturally blonde, it's twenty percent of the time. Then next slide here. So we have the probability that the person is naturally blonde, given that you're incorrect, is, and again, like I said, this is set up the same, is the probability that they're natural and you're incorrect over the probability that you're incorrect. Um, and then we set that equal to the probability that you're incorrect, given they're natural, times the probability that they're natural blonde over the probability that you're incorrect. We have this all set up here. On top, we have 0.2 for the probability that you are incorrect, and we have 0 0.9 given that they are naturally blonde, because 90% of them are naturally blonde. And then on bottom, we have here the probability that you are incorrect given they're natural times natural, and then the opposite case, the probability that you're correct given it's dyed. Um, times the probability of it being dyed. So on the left-hand side, we get that same answer as we got on top. And then we have to add to it the uh, the opposite case when you are wrong, um, or excuse me, that you're correct. And we have we get 0 0.08 there. And then when we add those together, we get 0 0.26. Um, so then we do go ahead and divide that and we get approximately 69% of the time the person is actually, um, actually blonde and that you guessed correctly about that. Um, so like I said, sorry, I didn't, um, email you in advance, but the luck I had last week getting the videos to actually upload, I'm going to go ahead and record this problem that I was assigned and then upload it to, upload it to Blackboard there and hopefully... It will go, um, last week I had kind of a challenging time, so, like I said, sorry I didn't let you know in advance about the problem being the same one that you had on your Bayes Theorem video, but I went ahead and worked it out the same here, and, uh, ended up getting the same an answer, obviously, I, I had to go back and look at it just to be certain, because, like I said, I got, all this, all the black I had set up was, um, set up, and then I was like, wait a minute, I think this is the same video, so it is indeed the same exact problem that you did. I thought you did a different one, um, but here it is. Thanks. Have a great rest of your summer, guys.